we call a risky. Uh, we have always heard uh, this word more often. We have read uh, this word more often. When we hear the word risky, this is a risk. I'm a risk taker. What comes into your mind? What is a risk, by the way? Anyone can start the ball rolling for us. You start here. For me, my dear sister here. We say this is a risk. I'm taking a risk. I mean, what comes into your mind? What is a risk? That one is a risk taker. Oh, that one is a risk taker. What is a risk? We don't know what to say in a language. Yeah, no, no, no. Just bring it up. Just bring it up. Yeah. Okay. All right. So somebody is doing something that probably may bring something bad, right? Something negative. So when you're doing that, it's like you are taking a risk, right? Okay, and uh, that's according to her. Anybody else with uh, a different view? A risk. Okay. Uh, in other words, we can say this is an occurrence or something that can happen to your uh, maybe probably day-to-day -day activities that probably will bring harm to whatever you do, or something that can probably disrupt your routines or whatever you are doing, and it happens unexpectedly. You never expected it and it has happened. So that one we say it is a risky. Anyway, now, um, when you are saying uh, supply chain risk management, in a supply chain, uh, the reason why I wanted us to start with uh, supply chain service management, I wanted you to introduce this uh, concept first. What is uh, supply chain uh, service management? First of all, I wanted to introduce this concept, then we will go to the risks. But now, for the sake of our colleague here, uh, that concept, we are not going to discuss it in details. But still more, uh, I need to mention one or two things in relation to this concept called uh, supply chain uh, service management. First of all, uh, when we are saying a supply chain, or maybe a supply chain, a chain is something which is probably interconnected, right? When we say a chain is something which is probably interconnected. There is a variable A, then B, then C, then D, etc., etc. And these ones, they work in kind of in a sequence. They are connected to each other. So something which is connected to each other and it pulls each other as it moves, as it flows, we call this one a chain. Now, we are saying a supply chain. When we are saying a supply chain or supply itself, uh, we are talking about a situation where someone is giving something to somebody else. Or maybe you are receiving something from somebody else. It's like that someone is supplying you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. For example, almost all of us this morning, probably we took some breakfast, say we took some tea. There was sugar in there. There was somebody who brought sugar into our house. Probably you went there by the street corner to buy from a retailer. You bought sugar from that person. In other words, that person has supplied you the sugar. Because uh, without going to him or without him bringing it into your house, uh, you couldn't have had this sugar, didn't you? So somebody has had to give you this thing. He supplied you. Again, even this person also was given this sugar by somebody else. And probably this time around we are talking about a wholesaler. And again, a wholesaler got this sugar from probably a distributor. And probably the distributor got this one from the manufacturer. So you can see that there is an interconnection. So this one... I had to supply this other person, this other person supplied this one, and this one also supplied the last person who is the consumer. And we are those last persons, or we are those consumers, isn't it? So,